Sorry. Sorry. Have you got a moment? Yeah, what do you want, love? Can I talk to you about melanoma? No, I don't know her, darling. I'm sorry? I don't know her. Who? Melanie, what was the second name? Oh, no, melanoma. It's a form of skin cancer. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Still, if she's on holiday, it will take her mind off it, won't it? Take whose mind off what? Your friend who's got cancer. No, my friend hasn't got cancer. <laughs> What's all the fuss about, then? No, I'm sorry. Can we start again? <laughs> oh, I'd rather you didn't, love. I'm sorry you can't find your friend. There's not a lot I can do about it. I'd give up if I were you, love. This is the most sense she's been since we got here. Well, can I leave a leaflet with you? All right. You all right, ma'am? Yeah. Young lass has lost a friend. Mind you, she isn't going to find her with this. The only picture they've got is of a spotty buck. Oh, look. Ooh. <sighs> <laughs> right, well, we've missed breakfast by a long chop, but no matter. Snacks start in half an hour. Oh, lovely. Try taking a couple of gobfuls of air between ciggies, you know. <sighs> nice bit of breakfast out this morning. I thought it'd be all frog's legs and all that rubbish, but no, good English fry up, very nice. And you, what a bit of something trapped in my teeth. I think it's a bit of bacon fat. Yeah, well, spare us the details, thanks. Man, give over! I'm not oh. going to leave it there, am I? Why don't you just give your teeth to our Michael? He'll give him a swilling pool. <laughs> <laughs> Where is our Michael? Oh, look who it is. It's the Belle of Benidorm. No, it's Mr and Mrs Stewart, isn't it? Donald and Jacqueline, please. You remember Kelly from last year, don't you? Of course I do. Oh, don't you look smashing? Oh, thank you. So you decided to stay on? Yeah, the money's still rubbish, but it was worth it. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Lovely. Mateo and I are getting married next year. Oh, him? Right, well, I better get on. I've got to give these leaflets out and then start the kids' club. So. All right, sweetheart. Bye. See you later. Bye. Mm. Bye. <sighs> Look at the state of that. Like flies to shite. Well, there must be a flight to London today. Will you please check again? The only flight you'll get today will cost you 310 euros each. Jerking. Unless I can get to Alicante in the next. 14 minutes. Oh, this is ridiculous. Um, thank you. Can't shift that bit of bacon fat. I think it's bacon fat. Tell, go and have a look for our Michael. Doing some it. That's a bad one, it was salty, but, but it's lost all its flavour now. It just feels horrible. Do you mind? I'm going to have my dinner in a minute. He was here a minute ago. Just stuck there. Won't move. Is that the front and the back? It's definitely wedged in. Oh, do you know there's not more irritating? I can think of something more bloody irritating. Why don't you just take your teeth out and sort it? Give us all a bit of peace. I'm not taking my teeth out here. Well, then... Can we not have the running commentary? How long's it gonna be there? How the bloody hell do I know? 
With your breath, I'm surprised it's not disintegrated. You disgust me. Do you know that? You've got the manners of an animal. <laughs> That's a bit rich coming from someone who's got half a pig wedged in a gob. <laughs> oh, that's enough. Hey, come on. You're on holiday. Thanks. De nada. Hey, cariño. Come on, get your kit off. I beg your pardon. Coming in. I'd rather drink bleach. Get a godful of this water, you'll be drinking more than bleach. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. I'm convinced that hideous looking woman only gets in to have a piss. That is a bloke. Oh, my God! Excuse me. When you've got a minute? Is this your money on the bar? Oh, no, my mistake. Slow, comfortable screw, please. Sorry, boss. No cocktails. What do you mean, no cocktails? You want beer? Yes, I'll have a beer. That'll be easier for you, won't it? And an orange juice, if it's not too much trouble. I hear congratulations are in order. Sorry, my English very bad. Yes, when it suits you. We met Kelly last year. Lovely girl. Oh, Kelly. Yeah, she's very beautiful. Yes, yeah, she is. A beautiful girl and a beautiful person. We'd hate to see her get hurt. Nuts. You keep your nuts to yourself. Now, ladies, large vodka and orange. Hey, good job no one's counting much, otherwise they'd know it was your fourth. Sure up. I'm on holiday. Did you see our Michael? No, I didn't see him. What, and that's it? What do you mean? Our son is missing and all you can say is I didn't see him. <sighs> He's not missing, is he? He's just not here. Why don't you go and look for him? No, you're right. It can't be far. He'll be back when he's hungry. Well, I'm up for a wonder. I'll keep an eye out for him. Where are you going? I'll thank you to keep that out of my business, young lady. Don't you worry. I try and keep that as far away from you as possible. Got it! Got it! What about tomorrow? Well, I don't care. Gatwick, Stansted, Luton. Anywhere. Not one seat. No, don't bother. Any luck? What do you think? Another five days in this squalor. Hardly squalor. OK, so the room's not up to much. The food could be a bit better. Some of the people a bit rough around the edges, but at least the sun's shining. The room is disgusting. The food is atrocious. The people are revolting. And that sun is too hot. The room is adequate, the food is basic, and the people... Well, at least the people are enjoying themselves. The problem with you is you're never satisfied with what you've got. Alternative to the front entrance. Four letters. Anal. Bastard. Are you OK, pal? My batteries have died. Oh, I see. What size are they? We've got a few bathrooms in our room. Double A. Oh, no, they're the wee ones, aren't they? No, they're quite big, the ones we have. Mind you, there won't be much juice left in them after last night. It's the barnacle, isn't it? The oracle. Oh, yes. Raining Lancashire pub quiz champion. Unbeaten, he says. That's right. Great name, the Oracle. Oh, Jeff, I don't mind either. Good to know you, Jeff. I'm Donald. This is Jacqueline. Oh. Yeah, hello. I remember. Oh, that's right. We spoke before. You're here with your mum. Will you and your mum be going to Neptune's for the karaoke tonight, Jeff? Oh, aye. It'll be a good night tomorrow night as well. It's Terry Burke, hypnotist, personal friend of ours. Nothing offensive. All good family fun. All right. Might go to that. You've never seen a hypnotist before. 
Yes, I can well believe that. How's your burger? Nice. You enjoying yourself? It's only a burger. I mean this holiday. Yeah, it's good. Better than being at home, innit? Do worry about you, darling. What for? What do you mean, what for? You're 16 and you're pregnant. I'm worried about a lot of things. How are you going to cope? I'm not getting rid of it. I'm not saying you should get rid of it. I mean, Alice said that if I don't get rid of it, then social services will take it off me because of my age. When did you start taking any notice of the things your Nana says? <laughs> Why is me Nana so horrible? Your Nana? Your Nana's had a hard life. What was my granddad like? He was a funny bugger. Most men are. Wasn't he a fisherman or something? He was a skipper on a boat. He was at sea most of the time. Didn't you once bring home a monkey? I did, yeah. A real monkey? Yeah. Only a little thing it was. It ran up the curtains and peed on your nana's head. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what my nana smells? I'm a bit too brushed, you're a bit too brushed. Will you marry me someday? I'll be true toothbrush, just to you toothbrush, if we both use the same toothpaste. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Oh. You surprised me. Excuse me. You look very hot and thirsty. I offered you sex on the beach. Vodka, beach snaps, creme de cassis, orange and cranberry. A beautiful long cocktail. It's a bit early for me to drink, I mean. Alcohol. Okay. I leave this for you. Mm. I go now. I have my break. 20 minutes. Like you, I am very hot today also. I go lie down on my bed, in my room. I leave the door open because I am hot. Number 18. Yes, well, it is very hot today. I never see you smile. <laughs> you are a beautiful lady and deserve a beautiful holiday. It is my job to give you one. I go now, for my break, in room 18. Yourself. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'll have to keep an eye on that, won't I? It's not the only thing you were keeping an eye on, is it? Here yeah, she is, the only one I've got eyes for, my beautiful daughter. Shut up! What have you got all these for? 
My mum said to get a few. She can't keep going up and down for drinks. She is pregnant, you know. Hey, how about that for diamonds? Pass one over. Where have you been? We've been worried about you. Speak for yourself. He found himself a little kiddies club. Got some little friends now, haven't you? Oh, was it good? Yeah, but then she came in and started singing and made Jamie cry. Oh, there's always one to spoil it for the rest, isn't there? There you are. Where'd you go? I just went to get a newspaper and I came back more or less straight away. Where have you been? Went upstairs for a lie down. I just went upstairs to look for you. You weren't in the room. No, I went for a walk first, then I went for a lie down. <laughs> you look hot. Are you feeling OK? I'm fine. We're in Spain. It's supposed to be hot. Yes. Look, I'm really sorry I shouted at you. What? Oh, don't be silly. Let's go upstairs and get showered and changed. We can go for an early dinner. What, here? Well, it's all inclusive. We may as well make use of all the facilities. Come on. All together now, ladies and gentlemen. Just imagine you're on your holidays. Are you happy, love? Let your face know. Darling. Well, will you look at that? <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. Jesus, who's your doctor, Bernard Manning? <laughs> <laughs> How's your steak? Mm. Surprisingly good. <laughs> I thought this soup would be tin, but it tastes homemade. Is that good or bad? Mm. Good. Jacqueline loves the gays, don't you, darling? Oh, yeah. What were the names of your friends who used to buy the rubber gloves from you? Jacqueline used to work in pharmaceutical sales. Terry and Bernie. Terry and Bernie. Big, strapping lads, weren't they? Muscles in their sweat. Dead now. But, my God, what a smashing couple. Big burly guys, army crew cuts, big moustaches, looked like lumberjacks, didn't they? Nothing poofy about them. No offence. Don't take it. You know, I reckon you gays can teach the streets a thing or two. Do you know what I mean? What, fashion sets? No, 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 no. I mean, I don't mean to be graphic, but there's nothing more a wife can do to show her husband that she loves him than by letting him, you know, park his car round the back. Yes. Flowers are nice. Oh. OK, let's get this party started. And a very, very warm Benetton welcome to our first karaoke cab off the rank tonight. Singing, you're the one that I want. It's Jeff Mulby, also known as the Oracle R, and his mother. She's me, PA. I know we've not been getting on lately, and maybe this holiday was a bit of a mistake. Maybe... Maybe we won't be able to work things out. Maybe we'll decide to call it a day, but at least for the rest of this week, nobody's going to be able to say I didn't try. going to give you this on the last day, but I want you to have it now. I love you even more than the day I married you, Kate. I know we can make this work if we both try. Up to 
to you. Okay, what is it? What have I done now? Wait, wait. You are okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please just let me go. Oh, I cannot let you go like this. You are a beautiful lady. Please don't cry. Get off me! Wait. Look, what happened this afternoon, Miss Sweetness, was a mistake. Do you understand? A big mistake. But your eyes, I look into your eyes, they tell me you want Matteo. It was just sex. You don't know me. Kelly. <laughs> this is not what it seems. Hmm? You said you wouldn't do it again. You promised. Kelly, please, you don't understand. This woman is mad. I've never seen her before. Excuse me. What I have done may be stupid, but I am not mad. Did you see where the ring went? You are the one, one. The comedy cuts continue over on ITV2 at 11 with Mark Watson, Josie Long and sketch group The Trap. Meanwhile, here on ITV1 next, it's the news.